There is a latest research article that suggests that recurrent ear, nose and throat problem in children is associated in some manner with autism. The research was conducted a few years ago and was on children in the first four years of life. A questionnaire was offered and some ENT problems were highlighted and later on whether these children progress to autism spectrum disorder was verified. The symptoms that were being recorded were mouth breathing, snoring, pulling at the ears, a red color of the ears, impaired hearing particularly during a cold. Sometimes uh, the recording was also done of purulent discharge from the ear which was associated with a higher risk in these children of developing an autism spectrum disorder. Once these children grew up, there were certain traits that were noticed including speech incoherence, late development of speech and language. The problems that were associated with these children later in life were similar to those of autism spectrum disorder including speech coherence problems, sociability, intelligible speech. They also also included social and communication issues along with repetitive and incoherent speech and they accounted for up to 10% of the children who were conducted during the study. These disorders in children must be detected and treated early so that even if there is a chance of developing and going and progressing towards autism spectrum disorder, we should be able to abort this. So if your child has recurrent ear, nose and throat issues, it is important to address those issues and to have the child treated as soon as possible.